Okay guys, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at the uh, Cobra Forge Tech. Forge Tech, yeah. So we've had it in the shop now for a little while. Um, we've actually had it one time before. We have had it a, a couple of times, yeah. We have. Um, again, the fastest growing sort of subsection yeah. in golf right now is this sort of power cavity iron. Player's distance. Player's distance. Yep. Uh, I think obviously driver has always been this sort of sexy category, but mm. right now this is probably the most talked about, most debated. I agree. Um, section of the, of the golf equipment market. Um, interesting sort of progression with these irons um, when we look at the mm. lofts. So between three to four and four to five, there's only two degrees of loft separation. So it goes 19, 21, 24, uh, 23. Uh, and then it starts to jump up a little bit. It goes from 23 to 26, mm. 26 to 29 and a half. So it starts to really so stretch. So it's narrow in the, in the longer irons. Only two degrees of separation. Then by the time you get to the wedges, between nine and wedge, there's five degrees. So have they done something with each iron, change in the CG location to balance that out? It, there, there must be a progressive, uh, a progressive sort of speed story in there with mm. regards to how much output they're looking for mm. uh, from those long irons. So in order to keep those gaps obviously um, spaced accordingly in, in sort of 10 to 12 yard increments like we normally see, Loft is normally the main the main factor that, that uh, achieves that, helps right. you achieve that. So um, they've obviously, they're looking at uh, head design and construction in order to achieve that. So with the long irons, you, you've actually got a little bit more loft to mm. play with. Yep. It's in the middle it gets a little strong. Right. Then as they start to stretch out again towards the short irons, I mean a 44 uh, degree pitching wedge, by today's you isn't, know, terms, isn't outrageous. Isn't crazy. I mean, no. look at the new, uh, look at the new Titleist T100S. You know, it's it's down there. Was oh, that what it is? It's at 44. 44, 44. Exactly the same thing. Right. So uh, different, different, obviously style of head completely. But uh, so they're basically. I mean, we've heard this from a bunch of companies. They're kind of building irons one one piece at a time. Correct. Like there's eight irons, but they're all a little bit different now. That's exactly. Which it. is good. Yep. Makes sense. So it's not just the standard. You know the. The wedge is designed like the four iron, and, and the, the the lofts are, are yeah. just you know three to four spaced out as as traditionally would you would see them. So, um, uh, you know, a good uh, certainly high expectations with this. Yeah, I think I, I ever since I saw the first photo, yeah. I think it looks really good. It does. I think they did a nice job with it. Yeah. I, I, we got some feedback that people didn't love the rear badging. I think it looks good. I like it, but I can see it being a bit subjective. It's obviously bold, but I think they did it on purpose. They want yeah. people to see what it is. I don't think Cobra are uh, are the type of company who go That's for the point. subtle approach. Um, That's a good point. You know, yellow and black. This is pretty subtle by their yeah. by their. Uh, it probably standards. is. Yeah, a little bit more on the traditional side. Okay. So let's get some numbers, let's, some, let's yeah. see how it compares. Fitter's tip would be, when you get uh, lofts that are that sort of unique, mm. two to three to three and a half to four to five, uh, just make sure you get fitting. Yeah, like do a gap session. Do a gap Because most places will fit off the six, but once your set comes in, they can bend each of them individually. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's always that little bit of play, a degree or so here or there, just to make sure they blend properly. Yeah, you don't want to be hitting, you know, two yards apart with a four yeah. and a five iron. Okay, let's All hit right. a few. You literally looked like you waved your I arms. I barely even that hit one. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really, you do not have to hit that very hard. But 139, 15 launch, 4500. It's, it's a nice flight for a yeah. sixer. Yeah. Yeah, looked nice. Solid one. That's good. That's nice. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Do they? They got a little bit of a click to them, but overall pretty good. Are you hearing that on your side? A little bit of a... I mean, yeah, you, you, do, you do with all of these kind of uh, hollow bodies. It's not, <laughs> it's not offensive though, like it's... No, definitely not offensive. And, and I think you're probably going to have to look into some, some kind of I don't know if you want to call it sophisticated uh, designing, you know, PXG esque. Yeah, in order that's to a get, little bit. You know, a, a softer forging with with a right. maybe a, more of a gel rather than a foam. You know, and that's a price category that's obviously quite a bit different. Yeah, yeah, you, you've got to recruit some different materials in order to achieve that. But right. no, for for the price, I think they've done a pretty good job. Yep. 
That sounded really nice. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't hit P or P790s in a while, but I would say they're a little, to me, they sound a little less clicky than I remember P790B. Maybe a little bit softer. But the top line looks a little chunkier. That would be my criticism. A little chunkier than P790. Like P790 looks better at address, but okay. I think this probably sounds and feels a little bit better. Okay. Good swing, Matty boy. That's a good one. Just curious as to uh, the impact compression has on, on the acoustics when you go to an iron like this. So t that Tiger Ball is firm compression? Relatively? Relatively. It's, not crazy. It's, it's not crazy. Yeah, you'd probably find it somewhere in the kind of 90, you know, 90 compression, somewhere in that region. Right. Okay, so softer ball. A little softer. I just want to see if this changes the feedback. That's better. Yeah, it does sound a I, little I bit. Don't, yeah, I don't feel like you're hitting uh, like a really uh, fast-faced iron anymore. Agree. That softens the, that softens the sound quite a bit. So depending on what golf ball you play, you may mm -hmm. find that it doesn't actually sound much different to your ear than kind of a normal cavity iron. Yep. How was that one? Yeah, it's good. Just softened it a little bit. Yeah, it really did soften it. Yeah. Get that you can landing. Take eight yards off it, pop some more spin on it, it looked like. Yeah, there you go. Probably a little bit better shot. That's nice. Half yard fade kind of thing. Yeah, I can't see too many uh, people upset with that. So it just goes to show it's not a, not a one trick pony. It's not biased towards, a, it's not like it's biased towards a draw. I mean, it's not like it, yeah. it has offset, but I think if you say you are the person who wants to hit it both ways, mm -hmm. I think you'd adjust. Like if you, if you need to, Hold the face just a fraction longer to hit a fade, switching to this iron. I don't think it's a hindrance, that's for sure. I think that's the thing with these irons. That they do have the, the sort of ability to hit as far as, as the real distance irons that are yes. out there. Yeah. But it also gives you the ability to kind of work it a little bit. If you're in that, that area where you're maybe losing a bit of distance, I mean, we, I think we say this every time we review a video like this mm -hmm. but, uh, or a product like this, it gives you the ability to still shot shape have a little bit of feel and touch, uh, but it gives you all the distance that you'll ever need. For sure it does. So if you are you know, starting to lose a little bit of that in your, your game and you're starting to hit fives where you, you used to hit sevens, it's true. it'll give you that advantage back. 100%, and if you want to shape the ball with a bit of a fade, which I think is becoming more popular, I think yeah. less guys are trying to get rid of a bit of a fade because it's a nice controlled ball. Mm -hmm. That's a good 10 yards further than I can hit a fade. Yeah. So I would imagine most people could, could re regain that club of distance like you were talking about. Definitely. So it's going to, I mean, it's going to stack up against any of them, isn't it? Yep, I agree. It's, uh, it really is going to be competitive with, with any of them uh, in its class. Yeah, um, I would try that alongside P790, yep. the Mizuno, HMB. Sure, um, yeah. What else is hollow? I500. I500 is in there for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's a worthy addition to that range. I think it's worth it in your fitting. I'm not sure that the performance is going to be crazy different. I think this reminds me of what we saw from P790. Yeah. But in terms of the way it looks and feels, you may prefer this. You know, you just may just get a bit better results from it. Yeah. Let us know if you've already. Uh, I'm, I'm always curious when we do these tests and we maybe mm. come late to the party a little bit on them. True. There are people who are already out there playing it. Let us know yeah. how, uh, how they're performing, if, if you have had just a chance a to them. play them. And yep. uh, maybe you've went down the, the one length route with them. Uh, and obviously mm. that's... Uh, Another option with it with these irons, they do come with the Arcos grips on them, which yes, is which giving I'm you guys the uh, the ability to get your stats. You really sort of enjoy the, the of first it. round I have of one right here. Sorry, I'm yeah, it's good, isn't thing. it? So it will look like it should actually look like that when yep. you order it. This so is it has our the, fitting grip the built in. Um, I, I I mean, it was just the one round we did with it, yeah. but I think um, it was very interesting to kind of look at the stats afterwards and kind of see your patterns. And I can just see for you as a fitter and even mm -hmm. just for a recreational player, you can really enlighten someone about what they're actually doing yep. versus your perception. You may feel like, oh, I kind of hit everything short today. And then you look, it's like, well, not really. You right. were actually left and long. Yeah, or, or yeah, or whatever, if you have right? a perceived miss and some people are sensitive to, to a miss over the other. But yes. 
you may end up seeing that you know the one that you're not as sensitive about is actually the real problem. 100%. So I'm, I'm happy to see them do it. Ping did it, so shout out to them as well. Ping did yeah. it with their new irons. Yeah, yeah it was good. Um, Marty was uh, saying that it's included with any G710s, uh, right? G710s, uh, anything sort of six pieces or more will come Great. with uh, with Arcos included. So yeah, I'd like to see pretty much every company do some, I, some I kind of offering. Yeah. I, I do, I think yeah. they will. I think it's only a matter of time now. Uh, you know, analytics are are integrated into basically everything to do with, with golf true. now. So, and rightly so, um, we, we want to make sure that we, what the clubs we invest in are performing oh, at the highest totally. level. Totally. We want to stay you know, more connected to our clients uh, over the longer term. That helps us do our job. We've been talking about it for well over a year now, how mm -hmm. we do that. So mm -hmm. you know, this is gonna help us do our job totally. even more. Yeah. Okay, Great. Uh, Cobra Forge Tech guys is a really, really good addition good to uh, a, a really yeah. sort of popular segment of the, the, the iron market. So uh, if you haven't tried them, get out and try them. You will not be disappointed that they, they really stack up nicely. Agree. Excellent. Okay, see you again soon.